All right, guys, now that we've built our drone and it's ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and set it aside. We're gonna get ready to connect to Betaflight, but we also have to get our radio ready. Now, if you haven't watched our series on how to set up your radio, please go back and do that because we're gonna already assume, and I'm gonna grab this one here, you should be using a radio like this one, a similar one, whether it's the X9 Lite or any other radio by FreeSky. We're gonna assume already that you've set this up. If you haven't, again, please go back and look under our FreeSky setup guide and you will find your radio and how to set it up. Assuming you've already done this, what we're gonna do now is power on the radio and I'm gonna show you how to make a model for this drone, okay? So let's go ahead and power it on. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay. Once it gets ready to go, you may see an error screen of some sort. If not, just press exit, get to your main screen here. And then what we wanna do is we wanna create a new model. So on your, on, your, on your radio right here, press the menu button one time and you're gonna see all these models. Well, at least I have all these models. You won't see any of these models because you haven't created one yet. What I want you to do is I want you to go to a blank line, whether it's mine is gonna be 10, yours may be two or three or what have you. I want you to go to a blank line and I want you to, this is your rolling um, uh, button here. I want you to go to a blank line. I'm gonna to go to 10 and I want you to hold it down. And then you're gonna get an option to create model or restore model. I want you to go to create model and I want you to click it again, okay? And then it's gonna ask you to select the type. I want you to scroll to multi, click it again. Now at this point, I don't really, I'm not really worried about these options. We're gonna set them later. So just press your page button and keep going. Okay, and then you're gonna get to this ready to go screen and it's just okay, enter long to confirm. This is enter. So basically what they're saying is holding up for about two seconds. Okay, now there is our new model. It's a model 10. It'll give you the, the model will be numbered to the, uh, to the um, line that you're on. I'm on line 10, so it's model 10. You'll also have an asterisk beside it and that means that you are selecting this model to work on, okay? At that point, what I want you to do is I want you to press your page button and you're gonna to get to your setup screen and the first thing you're gonna see is model name. I want you to click the enter and I want you to start scrolling until you can name it. So go ahead and name it A. Whoops, let me do it again. Scroll to the A. Now if you wanna capitalize it, once you get to the letter, hold it down and it'll turn to a capital and it'll move over. Just spell the word APIS, A-P, U S and then let's just leave a space so with the space there hit the enter key again and then just put uh, M and hold it to capital and then go to Q and then find the number six keep scrolling and then do a zero so that'll be the last uh, last one, or the first one of the numbers here. There we go. Hit enter. And then you'll know, add another space, just hit exit. So your title should look like this, Apis MQ60, okay? Then I want you to spin the wheel to the left and it's gonna start going upwards and you're gonna get to where it says internal RF and external RF. I want you to go to internal RF, click it on the mode where it says off, turn to the right and make sure you get to where it says ACCST D16. If you do not see this as an option or you're not able to find this, you need to do a firmware update. And again, you need to go back to our tutorial on how to do a firmware update and set up your radio. Once you have ACCST D16 uh, selected, click the button. And then I want you to go to the right and you're gonna go to channel range, leave that, leave that. But when you get to receiver, I want you to go to your whatever numbers here and I want you to click the enter key. I want you to scroll until you match the number of your radio of the line you were on. For me, I did my model on, on line 10, so this is gonna be receiver 10. If you did yours on line two, it'll be receiver two. Once you have your receiver selected, hit enter, okay? And that from, from there, that's it. What you're gonna do now is hit exit, exit, get back to your main screen where you see the name of your drone, and we're gonna come back and do assigning the switches in the next video.